Hello and welcome to your favorite channel, Things to Do. Istanbul is now the biggest city in Europe. It's on both the European and Asian sides of the Bosphorus and has been known for a long time as the place where East and West meet. Istanbul is a city that's proud of its history and culture, blending them together to make a lively metropolis that welcomes tourists from all over the world and has a lot to offer them. Even though it was founded in the Neolithic era, Istanbul is now a modern city that honors its history by keeping its Byzantine buildings and traditional bazaars. Aside from the Topkapi Palace, Hagia Sophia, and the Blue Mosque, which are well-known tourist spots in Istanbul, visitors can also check out the city's lively bazaars, historic neighborhoods, and lively food and nightlife scenes. Here's a list of the places to visit that are worth seeing. Number 10. Galata Tower Galata Tower, which is 67 meters or 219 feet tall, is the tallest building in Istanbul and dominates the city skyline. From the top, you can see amazing views of the historic district and the areas around it. In 1348, when it was built out of medieval stone, the tower that is now called the Tower of Christ was the tallest building in all of Istanbul. Even now, it's the tallest building in Istanbul. Throughout the years, the tower has changed in many ways. At one point, it was used as an observation tower to spot fires. The nine-story building now has a cafe, a restaurant, and nightclub on its upper floors, all of which can be reached by elevator. On the upper floors, you can see some of the most amazing views. Number 9. Istanbul Archaeological Museum the Istanbul Archaeological Museum is made up of three parts, the Archaeological Museum, the Ancient Orient Museum, and the Tiled Kiosk Museum. It's widely thought to be one of the most important museums in all of Turkey. There are more than a million objects from different cultures all over the world in the collections of the three museums. It opened in 1891, which made it the first museum in Turkey. It started out on the grounds of the Topkapi Palace. The tiled kiosk was built for the first time in the year 1472. The museums have a huge number of valuable artifacts, like the sarcophagus that Alexander the Great used. Number 8. The Kora Church even though the Kora Church is a bit off the usual tourist path, people say that the beautiful Byzantine art inside it is well worth the effort it takes to get there. Beautiful mosaics and frescoes show the life stories of Jesus Christ and his mother Mary. It's called the Church of the Holy Savior and it's in the town of Kora. It's thought to be one of the most beautiful remaining pieces of Byzantine architecture. The Kora has been around since the time of Constantine, which is a long time ago. In the beginning, it was a monastery. A few decades later, it became a mosque. In 1948, it was turned into a museum. Number 7. Basilica Cistern since Roman Emperor Justinian I ordered it to be built in the 6th century, the Basilica Cistern has been giving water to the people of Istanbul to meet their needs. The Romans used pretty advanced technology for their time to build this architectural masterpiece, which makes people talk about it for a long time after they've gone home. A few steps away from the Blue Mosque is an underground cistern that was built on the foundation of a basilica that was built in the 3rd century. The cistern, which is sometimes called the Sunken Place, can hold as much as 2.8 million cubic feet of water. From Russia with Love, a James Bond movie that was shot in 1963, used the cistern as one of its settings. Number 6. Domabace Palace People have said that the Domabace Palace is as luxurious, plush, and beautiful as the Palace of Versailles. Some of the words that have been used to describe the palace are the ones above. In the 1800s, 14 tons of gold leaf were used to build the most luxurious palace in Turkey. Its style combines traditional Ottoman architecture with European styles like neoclassical, Baroque, and Rococo. Between 1856 and 1924, it was the home of six sultans. It's now the home of the largest bohemian crystal chandelier in the world, which was a gift from Queen Victoria. The Domabace Palace, which was built on the shore of the Bosphorus, is in a very beautiful place. Number 5. Soleimaniye Mosque 
Visitors to the Suleimaniye Mosque say that the mosque's beautiful architecture and peaceful atmosphere make them feel more spiritual. The mosque was built by Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent in 1550. It can be seen on the third hill in Istanbul. The mosque is truly stunning because it combines the most beautiful parts of Islamic and Byzantine architecture in a way that makes them work together. Throughout its history, the mosque has been damaged a lot, especially during World War I when a fire broke out on the grounds while they were being used to store weapons. In the middle of the 20th century, the work was done. A mosque with four minarets was probably built by a sultan. When it was first built, the dome was the tallest building of its kind in the Ottoman Empire. Number 4. Great Bazaar the Grand Bazaar is one of the largest indoor markets in the world, so travelers who like to shop shouldn't miss the chance to go there. It has more than 5,000 shops, so it's a great place to go shopping. More than a quarter of a million people go to the bazaar every single day. It sells a wide range of things such as jewelry, carpets that may or may not fly, spices, antiques, and hand-painted pottery. The bazaar was built in 1461 and now has two mosques, four fountains, two hammams or hot baths, and the Chivahe Bedestan, which is usually where you can find the rarest and most valuable items. People who come here to shop will be able to buy old coins, jewelry with valuable stones, old furniture, and carved weapons. Number 3. Topkapi Palace The Topkapi Palace is a place that should not be rushed through because it's both beautiful and full of history. It's a very popular place for tourists to visit in Istanbul. The sultans of the Ottoman Empire ruled from the lavish Topkapi Palace for 400 years. This makes it one of the oldest palaces in Istanbul. It's one of the biggest palaces in the world that's still standing. Soon after he took control of Constantinople in 1453, Sultan Mehmed II started building the palace. He lived there until he died in 1481. The palace was turned into a museum in 1924. It now has a large collection of Ottoman art, china, jewelry, manuscripts, and other valuable items. The 86 carat Spoonmaker's Diamond and the Topkapi Blade covered in jewels are also important items. The beautiful building is mostly open to the general public. Number 2. Blue Mosque Built at the start of the 17th century, the Blue Mosque is still used as a place of worship today. Because of this, tourists will need to plan their trips to the mosque carefully since it's off-limits during the five times a day that Muslims must pray. All guests must leave their shoes at the door and women's hair must be covered. This is a small price to pay to see its valuable treasures such as the 20,000 ceramic tiles with different tulip designs on them and the 200 stained glass windows, each of which has beautiful designs on it. The mosque got its name from the blue tiles that cover the dome and the upper floors inside. Sultan Ahmed used these tiles when he built the building. Number 1. Hagia Sophia the huge dome of the Hagia Sophia, which is 102 feet or 31 meters in diameter, is a masterpiece of Roman engineering. It sits on top of what was, for more than a thousand years, the world's biggest enclosed space. By going through the imperial gate, people can get to the center of the dome. When they get there, they can look up to see the beautiful mosaics on the inside of the dome. Hagia Sophia Interior from the bottom of the main nave to the very top of the gallery, the walls are made of marble. Also, all of the walls in the inner narthex and side naves are made of marble. The marble used to build the Hagia Sophia came from all over the empire and were hand-picked for their high quality and wide range of colors. In the courtyard of the Hagia Sophia, there's a fountain called the Fountain of Purification. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.